how do you envision your products being combined with AR and VR? Yeah, I mean, I personally, personally, from my, my standpoint, um, I want to see characters talking back on all platforms. I think that if you're in AR, like, hell yeah, add a character to the room um, and make them talk back, and I'll, I'll, I'll allow you that conversation and connect connect to those. You're connecting to connect characters. You're connecting to the IP in a new way. And in virtual reality, it, it's very, very natural that, um, you know, I want to play the next IP, and I want to talk to that character, and I want to, like, use voice command. I don't want to have to... I don't want to have to program all the things that it takes to fly around the planet. I want to say, bring us around the planet. Um, and so there's voice command, and then and there's just the depth of it. How fast, how high, None of at that. what altitude. Yeah. <laughs> Forget that. No, yeah, I think, I think we play a big role, and I'm, I'm personally very enthusiastic in imagining that. Uh, one thing I'll add to that is I often go back to um, Last of Us, and I'm sure some folks maybe in this room got a chance to work on Last of Us and certainly worked with the team members. I think that they've done, they did an amazing job on that product. And one of the things that I always talk about when I'm in creative meetings at Polstering is I'm like, conversation doesn't, conversation's best when I'm like picking up a ladder and I'm moving it over here and somebody asks me a question in my ear and they're saying something. And that's when it feels most naturally to me. And a lot of times that's how conversation works in real life. Um, so I'm interested in integrating it in that way. I'm interested in you being active and in your surround and in your sub pack you're, you're feeling and hearing this presence behind you and you're interacting with it very fluidly like you would somebody else in the room if you're fixing something over here and somebody's like, hey, uh, can I borrow that screwdriver? And you don't even turn around, you just, you know, oh yeah, here, here I'm almost done with it. Um, that's, that's where I see it going and, and I see it as an absolute inevitability, so yeah. If you're a music producer, subscribe to our channel and stay up to date on the latest PureMind tutorial videos, track breakdowns, elite sessions, and more. Visit us at PureMind.com.